Here are 30 signs and indicators that can increase the likelihood of an earthquake. Number 1. Increase Seismic Activity A sudden increase in the number of earthquakes in a specific area can indicate that a larger earthquake may be imminent. For example, in the days leading up to a large earthquake, smaller earthquakes may occur more frequently in the same area. Number 2. Ground Uplift or Sinking Changes in the elevation of the ground can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if one side of a fault rises, it may be a sign of increased stress on the fault and a potential for an earthquake. Number 3. Changes in Water Levels Changes in water levels in wells or lakes can suggest changes in the underground water levels and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if a well suddenly dries up or the water level in a lake changes rapidly, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 4. Changes in Animal Behavior Some animals are known to display unusual behavior prior to earthquakes. For example, snakes and other reptiles may leave their burrows, birds may fly away from their nests, and domestic animals may become restless or refuse to enter buildings. Number 5. Strange Sounds Strange sounds, such as rumbling or whistling, can sometimes be heard before an earthquake. These sounds are believed to be caused by the movement of rock and soil as stress builds up in the Earth's crust. Number 6. Changes in Ground Crack Patterns Cracks in the ground or on the surface of buildings can sometimes appear before an earthquake. These cracks may be wider or more extensive than normal, and can be an indication of increased stress on the Earth's crust. Number 7. Changes in air pressure. Changes in air pressure can sometimes be felt before an earthquake. For example, some people report feeling a sudden drop in temperature or a sudden increase in humidity just before an earthquake. Number 8. Changes in the electromagnetic field. Changes in the Earth's electromagnetic field can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the levels of various minerals or gases in the water can indicate increased tectonic activity. Number 9. Changes in atmospheric conditions. Changes in atmospheric conditions, such as changes in temperature, humidity, or wind patterns, can sometimes be seen before an earthquake. For example, some people report feeling lightheaded or dizzy just before an earthquake. Number 10. Changes in water chemistry. Changes in the chemistry of bodies of water, such as rivers or lakes, can sometimes be seen before an earthquake. For example, changes in the levels of magnetic and electric fields have been recorded before some earthquakes. Number 11. Changes in the strength of gravity. Changes in the strength of gravity can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the levels of gravitational pull in a specific area can suggest increased tectonic activity. Number 12. Changes in the Earth's magnetic field. Changes in the Earth's magnetic field can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the orientation or intensity of the magnetic field can indicate increased tectonic activity. Number 13. Changes in the speed of seismic waves. Changes in the speed of seismic waves can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the speed of P waves and S waves can suggest increased stress on the Earth's crust. Number 14. Changes in the direction of seismic waves. Changes in the direction of seismic waves can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the direction of P waves and S waves can suggest increased stress on the Earth's crust. Number 15. Changes in the frequency of seismic waves. Changes in the frequency of seismic waves can sometimes be detected before an earthquake. For example, changes in the frequency of P waves and S waves can indicate increased stress on the Earth's crust. Number 16. Increase in radon gas levels. Radon gas is a naturally occurring gas that can be released from the Earth's crust before an earthquake. For example, increased levels of radon gas in the air can suggest increased tectonic activity. Number 17. Increase in carbon dioxide levels. Carbon dioxide is a naturally occurring gas that can be released from the Earth's crust before an earthquake. For example, increased levels of carbon dioxide in the air can suggest increased tectonic activity. Number 18. Changes in groundwater levels. 
changes in ground water levels can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if a well suddenly dries up or the water level in a well changes rapidly, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 19 Changes in Soil Chemistry Changes in the chemistry of soil can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, changes in the levels of various minerals or gases in the soil can suggest increased tectonic activity. Number 20 Changes in the Temperature of the Earth's Crust Changes in the temperature of the Earth's crust can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the temperature of the Earth's crust increases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 21 Changes in the Level of Atmospheric Electricity For example, increased levels of atmospheric electricity in a specific area can suggest increased tectonic activity. Number 22 Changes in the Strength of the Earth's Magnetic Field Changes in the strength of the Earth's magnetic field can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the strength of the Earth's magnetic field decreases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 23 Changes in the Level of Atmospheric Pressure Changes in the level of atmospheric pressure can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the atmospheric pressure decreases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 24 Changes in the Orientation of the Earth's Magnetic Field Changes in the orientation of the Earth's magnetic field can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the orientation of the Earth's magnetic field changes suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 25 Changes in the Level of Radioactivity Changes in the level of radioactivity can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the level of radioactivity increases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 26 Changes in the Level of Atmospheric Ozone Changes in the level of atmospheric ozone can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the level of atmospheric ozone decreases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 27 Changes in the Level of Atmospheric Nitrogen Changes in the level of atmospheric nitrogen can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the level of atmospheric nitrogen decreases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 28 Changes in the level of atmospheric helium Changes in the level of atmospheric helium can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if the level of atmospheric helium decreases suddenly in a specific area, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity. Number 29 Animal Behavior Changes Some animals, such as dogs and cats, can sense changes in the Earth's magnetic field before an earthquake. For example, if you notice your pets acting abnormally or exhibiting strange behaviors before an earthquake, it could be a sign that an earthquake is imminent. Number 30 Plate Movements and Deformations Plate movements and deformations can indicate increased stress on faults and increased likelihood of an earthquake. For example, if two plates are moving away from each other or one plate is subducting beneath another, it could be a sign of increased tectonic activity and increased likelihood of an earthquake.